Dr. Sarah, do you have a few minutes to answer some questions for us? Of course. Can you tell us what is inflammatory bowel disease? Yeah, so inflammatory bowel disease, we also call this IBD, is a condition that's immune-mediated and basically leads to inflammation of the bowels. There are two types of IBD. There's Crohn's disease, which affects any part of the bowel, from the mouth to the bottom end. And then there's ulcerative colitis, which only affects the colon. And the inflammation leads to symptoms like rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, and also sometimes affects other organs, you know, and can lead to skin problems and joint pain. And how is it diagnosed? Yeah, so we diagnose it using actually different types of tests. The most common test and the most important one is a colonoscopy. The colonoscopy allows us to look inside the bowel and look at the inflammation and take biopsies. And the biopsies really confirm the diagnosis. But often we also need a CT scan or an MRI to look at the rest of the bowels. Sometimes we need a capsule endoscopy. And we often, almost always, need blood tests and stool tests to just make sure there's nothing else going on and just to assess the overall health of the patient. How is IBD different from IBS, irritable bowel syndrome? That's a great question. We get this question all the time. So irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is a condition that can lead to symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, but it doesn't lead to inflammation or damage of the bowels whereas IBD does, and so it's a different type of treatment. Can I have both? Absolutely. So both patients, so patients with IBD can definitely have an IBS component to their symptoms, and that could worsen their, their, their symptoms that are already present. How is IBD treated? So the way we treat IBD is we use different types of modalities. The most common thing is medications. So medications come in pill form, injections, infusions. We also need surgery sometimes to address some issues. But also, you know, nutrition, just to make sure everything is optimized. Which symptoms should I consider as an emergency? So symptoms like severe rectal bleeding, severe diarrhea, abdominal pain that wakes you up at night, vomiting, losing weight, all of these are symptoms that are really important to look at, and so you should see us urgently if you have any of these. What advice would you give to someone with IBD? So, lots of advice. I think one of the main things would be to remember that you need to have a correct diagnosis and a clear treatment plan, and make sure that you're monitored closely to see if the medication is working for you. And this has to be done through stool tests, blood tests, colonoscopies, imaging, and because we need to make sure that the medication is working for you, that it's healing the bowels, but that also you're going back to a normal life. That's great, Dr. Sarah. Thank you so much for all the advice. My pleasure.